<laughs> oh man. Oh, uh, that's a fair point. Oh wow. What do you what do you make of this? I mean, it's it's weird for it one is. that they've lost to this team twice in this manner. It's weird, but it's not. And me and Greg were talking about this offset is that basic, I mean, off camera is that basically this is what we call a human nature game where you go out there and you look at your opponent and you just think in your mind, they're inferior. We're better than them. And next thing you know, you get into the game, you start doing well, and, you, and it's easy. And then you let your guard down and that team just keeps playing. And now you're in a ball game and you don't know how to get your momentum back. And that's what happened. Down the stretch, OKC stole the momentum both games, and the L.A. Lakers cannot get the momentum back, and that's why they lost both games to, to the Thunder. You know, one thing that's happened just with basketball in general in college and the pros is the three-point shot and the ability to take care of the basketball can equalize talent. It can neutralize talent. Yeah. And so if we come out, you could have a better team, more talent than us, but if we shoot the three well and we win a turnover battle and maybe we sneak the free throw battle, we're going to have a chance to win. And so as a player and as a coach now, when you instill that in your team, they don't become in awe of an opponent. They just understand it's, it's all about math. Like mm -hmm. if we can do those things out on the floor, we're going to have a chance tonight. And, I, and I, I, it really resonates with me talking with my son about it with the back. Like they believe that they can go win. If we, like that if we do this and we do that, we, we're going to have a chance to win game. Like, they genuinely believe that now, and that's because the three-point shot has been such a great equalizer in our league yeah. that you get hot from out there, you can play with anybody. Well, that's for sure. A 20-point lead is not what it used mm -hmm. to be. There's no question about that. But, wow, against this team, uh, it's just such bizarre results for this Laker team. And for Russell Westbrook, we're not picking on him, but in, in these two games against his old club, just disastrous finishes in both cases. Yeah, and tonight for Russ, it was only five assists to four turnovers, and then he had the ugly turnover late where he's trying to, you know, force the ball in transition. The ball just, just slips out of his hands and goes almost over the backboard. So y y there's going to be some people saying some negative things, but at the end of the day, it's a bad loss early in the season. The Lakers will be fine once they get LeBron back, but, you know, it, when you add all these new pieces, it takes time for everybody to get comfortable.